Uh, all right, so the first deck we're going to be playing, and this is going to be, I'm going to go through this fast because we already did this once and I don't want to, uh, we had some technical difficulties. But anyway, so we are combining Beedrill V, which cares about how many Beedrills you have in play, with Fortress. Now, Fortress is probably what we're going to want to start with uh, because this thing can attack with only two energy and Beedrill needs three to be worth anything. Uh, Twin Needle is bad. And I don't want to try using Twin Needle. We want to be using Swarming Sting. Um, so Fortress is going to let us power up some Beedrills. We're doing some other interesting things to try and make this work better. Um, EXP Share. We're playing with three different tools, actually. We usually only do one or two. Uh, so we're using EXP Share, Choice Belt, and Blunder Policy. Kind of see what feels good, see what feels right. Um, one Clara, because we really need to have our Beedrills on the bench. If they knock a Beedrill out, we need to be able to get it back, put it back on the bench. Because... Uh, the less of them we have, the worse their attacks are. Now, the best part about this deck is that if we can make it work, we get to scream bees and send bees at people, which, if y'all have never done that, not in real life. Don't ever send bees on people in real life unless they're totally cool with that. Um, don't know where I was going with that. Anyways, uh, let's see here. So, yeah, let's get started. Let's just see if we can make this work. And if we crash and drop frames again, we're going to be really sad. But hopefully we don't. Into the abyss. Beedris. How's everybody doing today, by the way? Hope y'all had a wonderful day. I was having a decent, solid day, and then, you know, work sucked, but we got through it, and we did our job, and did everything we needed to do, and now stream's having an issue, so I don't know what the universe is bad to be about. Hopefully, it's nothing too bad. Universe, I'm sorry. Don't, don't be like this. All right. We're also getting the game, the deck out of the way that really cares about RNG first, because if the universe is mad, the universe is what I mean? We don't want to be angry, universe. Grr. Show me your angry face. Oh, and I did add a new uh, redemption. So, what's up, Dronoff? Uh, so, okay, this is perfect. We get to start with the Pineco. We have an Ultra Ball, too, which is excellent. So, all right. Full disclosure here. This redemption... Oh, okay, I appreciate that. Appreciate you doing that, Tatas. Okay, so they're doing something with Cricketune, which is kind of weird, but all right. Uh, we have a new Channel Point Redemption that is for me to do the accent, my Texas, thick Texas accent, um, for the game. So, if you ever show up in stream and you're like, what is Wiggles doing? Why does he sound so weird? It was a redemption. I don't normally sound like that. Ooh, also a fortress. What's up, Pineco? Aw. I like the Bulbasaur. Okay, so we're going to play the B drill here. We're going to use Arvin for a VIP pass. And something that we probably don't... Do we have any... We have one Grass Energy, so let's go ahead and grab our EXP share. Worst comes to worst and they knock our Pineco out, we can uh, use that EXP. Okay. Okay. And we need bees! Okay, so one of our Beedrills is in our prize cards. That is problematic, but not the end of the world. Okay. Boom. Uh, it's uh, it's not only for subs. It is a it's two thousand channel points or ice cubes as we call them here. Um, there's only two per. It should be up there. Uh, it says play a game with the accent. So it's it's definitely the most expensive of the redemptions. Uh, they really are. Oh, the little Jirachi! All right. <laughs> All right. We have our first redemption on using this particular accent. I do mean that one. That is the one, my friend. You have found the button. I appreciate you. So this is how we're going to be talking this game as we try to get these bee drills all figured out now. Now, opponent is going to go ahead and use their fortress. They're going to blow it up. They're just doing some traditional Wo-Chan fortress stuff. Um, kind of not, not to be unexpected here. Now, they are... Hmm. Are they going to hit our Pineco? If they hit the Pineco... With this Wochin, we're a little sad here. Now, they're going to have a lot of... I think we've lost, y'all. I think we've just lost off the get-go here because... And I can't stress this enough. Wochin's really powerful. And we don't have a fortress ready. And they, they went first. That was our fault. We made them go first. And they got to go first. Okay. And they have the Iono. Shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, we are in some trouble, y'all. I, I gotta be a little careful doing this voice here. I practice it. I do this for fun. I don't want y'all to think this is just for y'all. I actually talk like this to myself sometimes. I find it entertaining. Uh, 
it's different with music in my ears. I didn't practice for that. And uh, if I talk like this for too much, I actually have trouble turning it off. Hopefully Chips doesn't hate that. Okay, so they got the Radiant Serena on the, the retreat there. All right. Now, do they use... Okay, they're going to Forest Blast and just take it out. All right, this is why we got that EXP share. So we're going to be all right. We're going to put that right there. All right. Uh, shoot. I don't know what we do here. Uh, yes, we put this out there. Let's just put it out there. That Iona was problematic as well. Uh, Luminion's a good pull, though. So do we want to try and mess with that? So what we could do in theory here, we've got... Hmm. Hmm. All right, I have a plan here. We're gonna try something. Let's see. First, let's try Poke Gear first. Poke Gear failed. Luminion won't fail. Better not fail, Luminion. All right, so we're gonna do this here. That right down there. Use Luminous Sign. We're gonna get a boss's orders here because we need to stall for just a second. You saw Toad Screw at the Fortress. That does sound like a fun deck. All right, so. Hmm. Now the downside here, okay, so let's do this. Let's pull this Serena to the front. We actually have to ditch this energy. I kind of messed up. I shouldn't have done that because uh, we need to use one of these other B drills because we need to use this blunder policy. While it's in our hand, we need to use it. We know they're playing with Ionos. We know they might try and mess with us here a little bit. So let's see here. All right. Now, hopefully we just have one heads here. We would like a tails. So just one. Just one is fine. We can't draw six cards, but our deck's trying to help us out. All right? Can't be too mad, all right? Now, I'm mad. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I can't do a... I can't laugh. What's up, Icy? Thank you for that lurk. Thank you for being here. Let's start that giveaway. All right. And by the time we do this giveaway, we will be not talking like this. Yuck. All right. So, they've got the bar L. Dang, they had that too, just off the bat? Ugh. Opponent got real lucky here, y'all. We got unlucky, and our opponent got real lucky, so... I'll two more. You know, here's hoping you don't. Okay, all right. Uh, we are going to play this one out because of the redemption for, for doing this for the end of the round, though. Normally, I would just concede here because this game's pretty over, but... Okay, they're trying to keep us off of a fortress, and I respect that about the opponent. They seem to know what's going on here. But, we might still be in trouble. Uh, yeah, they can just one-shot everything we got here. Okay, so let's put this here. Let's try and twin. We're not going to get another Pineco. They're set up. They're just too set up. Most things aren't going to be able to take care of our Pineco. Now we got two heads, so we don't get to draw any cards. <laughs> Excellent. See, other bad news here is that even... Oh, because of this bravery charm. Ooh. And they're healing. Y'all, we have lost this game. Lost this particular game. Another Wochen. Now... <laughs> it's a new redemption. I see only two per stream, though, so save it if you care. Or just use it if you don't want to hear it. Use it, mute the stream, walk away, come back in five minutes, and we will be back to our normal, cheerful self. Okay, the boss's orders to get... No, not my EXP share one. That's just rude. Again, it don't really matter. I guess they can only do 120. Let's do the whole thing. <laughs> that would be difficult, and I would definitely have trouble putting it away after that. Opponent, you have won. I just can't concede because we're not built like that. You know, we're built to be here to play. Now, this is always going to be a concern with this deck, that it's just not quite good enough. That's kind of when I was playing this against the computer. That was one thing I sort of ran into repeatedly, like a fence post out in the middle of a field here. Is this just kind of might not be strong enough, you know? Might not be strong enough. Let's try to draw some cards, I guess. Not that it really matters, because we can't, we can't survive a turn here. Hey, we actually got it right this time. One and one. One and one. <laughs> sensing disturbance in the fortress. <laughs> <Yuck. laughs> it's really hard to change how you laugh. If y'all have never tried to laugh with an accent, I highly recommend it. Uh, oh no. We have lost the game. 
Oh, opponent, we almost had you. We almost had you. We took it. And the accent away. All right. There's only... So I have a bunch of different voices I do. I, You know, you got to find ways to entertain yourself, right? We're not going to have most of those for here because I don't want to piss anybody off. Uh, but one of them is so... And I, I use this word, sticky. Uh, it's so hard for me to put down. I actually can't do that accent anymore. Uh, I just, I will talk like it for days, and it is not, pre it's not pleasant. You only laugh at an accent I know. <laughs> Yuck, <laughs> gorsh. <laughs> Alright, let's just collect all these, see if we got anything new. We got a couple new things and some old things. Alright, back to it. <laughs> well, I see, apparently, uh, so just, you know, to prevent that, because I know how much y'all watch, and I do appreciate that, and that y'all have your credits. There's only two per stream redemption. <laughs> I didn't see the Cleffa. I want a Cleffa. The Cleffa. You know what? That Cleffa showed up. Oh, and the giveaway. Yeah, that Cleffa showed up when we, uh, when we were offline for just a second. They're off. Congratulations, my friend. You win. Uh, I would like to flip heads. Words are hard. Words are hard. Okay, there you go. There's your code. Okay, all right. Everything's here and ready to go. You're welcome. All right, well, we didn't draw any basic Pokemon. That's a shame. Not the end of the world. So it's weird. I try to watch my videos, at least somewhat, because I want to see how I can improve, right? You gotta, you go, if you want to do better, you gotta be there ready to do better, right? And, uh... I have to stop wiggling. Which is one of them. Like, when I just sit there and, like... Trying to stop that. Trying to stop touching my beard. It's like... We need, like, a beard force field. I need a collar, right? Like, an e-collar like dogs have, so I can't just touch my beard. But your last three cards from Udex, you can either try... Nice! Is Battle VIP hard to get? Is that a... Okay, so this is the other... This is the, the more common Charizard. We're seeing this more and more and more. Um, that helps us, kinda? This will get us a Fortress. Now, we wanted to have a VIP pass and an Arvin, and we don't have either of those, so hopefully we can get the Arvin with the Poke Gear. Because we need some Beedrills out. Starting with Illuminion is sad. Alright, so let's do this first. We're going to thin our deck here just a hair. Just a hair. Oh, that's brutal. Nobody had it? Okay, yeah, we're not going to take this because we have a Professor's Research, and so we're going to probably do that before. Hey, there he is. Alright. Okay, so now we grab Arvin, VIP pass, and okay, our choice belts and our prize cards. Um, let's do the EXP share. Three of our Beedrills are in our prize cards. Three of them. Wow. You want to talk about unlucky. Do we... Okay, so... We just have to become a Fortress deck. So. Put that there. And end our turn. Now, unfortunately... Well, I guess actually fortunately, because they're not playing the uh, actual Fire Charizard deck. They're just playing the Charizard Arceus deck. So they don't have a lot of Fire Pokemon. So our Grass Weakness here is actually a strength against them. Apparently someone turned in an entire Fuse and Strike collection to one of the shops, but took all the VIPs after. <laughs> <laughs> what a jerk. <laughs> that's funny, though. That's that's kind of funny. Okay, so this is RCSV star that they're getting. Maybe they're unlucky, and those two are both in their prize cards. Nope, just us. All right. All right, cool. Awesome. I said, y'all, the universe here is mad today. I don't know why. I don't know. The universe, are you cool? We We chill? Do something, hmm. Now, I don't know if y'all believe in karma or if things, but I believe in energy, right? Not like healing crystal energy. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not a not a rock scientist or a rock doctor. Ooh, rock doctor sounds awesome, actually. That'd be cool. Like, 
I'm a rock doctor. Um, anyways, I digress. We need to put positivity into the universe, right? To get positivity out. I am positive we're dead right now. For what's worth. Now, okay. If they, they can't... Uh, have they used a supporter this turn? They got rid of a boss's orders and an Iona, but they didn't use one. Okay, we were kind of hoping that they would retreat here. They didn't. That's a shame. Okay. Just grab another... Pineco at this point. So, we have the option of trying to use Gardenia's Vigor here, but we're just going to go ahead and use the Professor's Research, because we want to switch and... <laughs> Dick, I'm sorry for whatever we did. I'm sorry. It's my bad. Oh. I don't know when rotation is for Pokemon drawn off. I, uh, I'm woefully uneducated when it comes to standard. I'm going to switch to Lost Box unless something else comes along some more few. So were you not able to find any of the VIPs, or are you just going to wait until the VIPs come out? Or get there in the mail? Rookie. Okay, so they used that, which means they can't boss his orders, which means... They have to hit this. Now, we can guarantee get a uh, Fortress. And, well, I was going to say, because they only have the one Charizard, they don't actually have a lot of energy on stuff right now. Now, if this Charizard powers itself up, that's great for us. If they power the Arceus up, it's a little worse for us. So hopefully they power it up. Okay, so they did a little bit of both, but mostly the Charizard. That's good for us. Okay, so they're they're going all in on Charizard. Which is great. You have to wait till they come in. Should be more than a week or two. That's, that's fair. That's fair. Okay, so they have the Pidgeot and the Arceus. This deck is all in on Charizard plan, right? Like, I guess technically Arceus has attacks, but this is a Charizard deck. Which is really good for us. Now, Murder the Luminion. Do it. So, okay, 2024 Spring is the next rotation. That's fair. I'm excited. I've never been playing Pokemon during a rotation. Um, yeah, another Pidgeot, I guess. They can only do one of these a turn, so this is kind of weird. Sure. Sure. Yeah, I kind of agree, Dronoff. I, I don't really enjoy playing against that deck. Big agree. Okay, so we have to use Luminion unless we draw an Ultra Ball. Sometimes lucky. All right, so we're going to Ultra Ball this Pineco and this Basic Energy and go grab a Fortress. Three of our Beedrills are still in the prize cards. Now, we are about to get some prize cards, so that's something here. Um, use this. Okay, we're going to put these both on a Beedrill here. Okay, and... Boom. 240 damage. Woo! <laughs> Am I the villain? <laughs> okay, okay. Go fest and pogo so you'll be busy. Yeah, that's going to be a busy weekend. <laughs> you're not the villain for playing Lost Box. You're just, you know... It's important for any um, card game format to remain healthy. Um, it's important that there are both... Decks that are the good deck... That are running around that because so playing a good deck means that the other decks can't just fart around right you're you're forcing opponents to actually play and do things um and that's a big deal because otherwise the format just gets to be this kind of like weird <laughs> i just so see i i think i think it's fine rookie you need to be able okay wait hmm, hang on I, I need to think here real quick sorry hmm? We were going to do that, but now we're not going to. Sorry, y'all. One second here. Really want to put that down. Let's just hold on to that. Let's just let's just knock the Charizard out. Um, anyways, I digress. Um, <laughs> you need to be able to beat the good deck, right? And if you can't beat... <laughs> if you can't beat the good deck, you 
kind of need to do something else. Like that, it's important that that your deck be competitive. You're obviously not going to win every game. Guard feels clunky, slow at most of the time. I don't know what you mean with guard. Like Gardevoir? Hang on one second here. So let's do this. We're going to go ahead and do this. And gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Two, three, one, two. Now we can't get our choice belt with Arvin, which is a shame. Um, knock it out. Woo! Oh right, it actually um, hmm, exp share doesn't work in that in that way. So notable here. Now the down the downside here is that we can only do three hundred damage. Uh, we can't quite knock it out, but we do get to do three hundred damage. Oh, and then we take two ten. Yeah, this deck might be bad. And this would have been different if we didn't start with all of our beedrills in the prize card. So we're not giving up just yet. I'm touching my beard again. I need that e collar. Ugh, we're dead. We lose. Okay. Oh yes, and you can have that. Um. I'm just going to stop trying to talk about that. But no, I don't think you're the bad guy for playing with the good deck. <laughs> wow, I just got to watch the viewer count just, like, drop. Wiggles, you need to finish the sentence. Ah, that's funny. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no. Play, play with the good decks. Play with the fun decks. Play what you enjoy. That's what matters. If you're not enjoying it, stop playing it. Might, this might be a shorter set on this deck, because I, I really want to give the next deck a good shake, and this one's not really impressing me. I tried to make the Beedrill work before. Yeah, exactly. Gardevoir is dangerous. Um, not Both Gardevoirs are not weak to Charizard, but one of them is, and you need both if you're going to play the Gardevoir deck. Well, you don't need both, but both is recommended. Okay, this is the one, chat. I feel it. I feel it. This is the one. If any of y'all say anything, I'm gonna be sad. Okay. Yeah, that's true. There are still Chine Pound Palkia decks for sure. Maybe? Oh, not today. Uh -huh. mm. The way things are going, I see. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You know what I mean? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It's getting spanked. Now, notably, though, in the layer of layer, in the uh, vein of good news, the green screen is better now than it was, which is wild. It didn't actually do anything. Okay, so we don't have any ways to get other beedrills. Sad. Yep. The Outcast Knight, thank you for the follow, my friend. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hmm. Y'all, we're getting near that 300 follower mark. We didn't even do anything for 200 followers, but we're definitely going to do something for 300 followers. Something extravagant. Hmm. What, Wiggles? Well, I don't know, Wiggles. If I knew, I wouldn't use big, showy words like extravagant. I would just say what the thing is. But I got time. I got time to think. Opponent, would you like to play any other cards? Ooh, a lady ant. <laughs> I'll think about it, Rookie. I will. I mean, we could send some cards out. We have some cool cards we could send out to people. I don't know if people would want to give us, like, a mailing address. 
You know what I mean? Hmm. And it wouldn't be a full deck. It would just be cool cards. Oh, that's a good idea. You know, Rookie, that's a good idea. I love this Beedrill art, though. Because this would be horrifying. But the flowers are so pretty. And look at that one little Beedrill in the background, just chilling in the flowers. Kind of begs the question, though. Do these Beedrills pollinate flowers? Or do they just stab them? They're like... Hey, those were nice cowboy hats, okay? If you didn't want to wear them, that is on you, rookie. Okay. Can I have an Arvin? A Poke Year or a VIP pass? I cannot. Well, so we do get to draw some cards, hopefully. And we also get to force the Bidoof to the front. We're going to do that now. But we're not going to play our beach court because then the Bidoof could just retreat. Right? That Doug Dimidome and no cards for Wiggles. We did 80 damages now. Okay. All right. Could be worse. We could have not knocked out that Bidoof. All right. <gasps> a Pineco and we already have a Fortress. Yay. Um, the Doug Dimidome one was hard to package. Because it literally goes forever. Owner of the Dimsdale Demodome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, they're getting their Bidoof back, but that's all they're... Oh, I guess they're also getting one energy back because they discarded it earlier. Mm. Mm. At least we got a price card. That's only kind of dangerous when they have a Radiant Charizard out. Only a little bit. Oh. <laughs> I'm in danger! Unpacking, pretty cool indie game. Is that the uh, the one where it's like the uh, like moving simulator? Talk here something next, maybe. Maridon, catch my small hitter from what I've seen. If you lose a Raichu or something, so Maridon is actually pretty solid. Hey, look, a VIP pass. Um, it's not the Raichu that you want with Maridon. It's the Raikou. Um, you only really want one or two Raichus in that deck, in my opinion. Um, and again, I've been wrong once or twice before. You got it, I see. So I haven't I actually I haven't seen that drone off, but I used to work for a moving company. That's actually the uh and I hate packing. <laughs> I will if I never have to pack again be too soon. So when me and Chips moved here, it's like we're never moving again. I'm never I'm never going through the house buying process again and I'm never moving again. I'm good. I'm good. We'll, we'll be that, like, old couple when they, like, have high-rises and everything around. We're gonna be- I'm gonna be on my, de on my like, front porch, like, with the cowboy hat and the hand full of Pokemon cards, like, meh, meh, meh. Okay. So, if we can somehow get a Beedrill this turn... Hmm, that's not gonna do it. Okay, so we have a Fortress, at least, as a backup plan here. We have to use this because we don't want this Charizard. We can't knock this Bibarel out now. They can't actually retreat it now either. Let's go ahead and play this. Let's, let's... We really want to hit a Tails here. We need energies. We need cards. Just one Tails deck. Just one Tails. Thank you. Perfect. Those were good draws. Rookie, the if the trick, if you want to do that, uh, celebrations. Get celebration cards back. Say never. Yeah, fair point. Fair point. Yeah, celebrations is definitely what you want to get. Okay, so what they get here matters. Because if they don't get... Okay, 
So they want to switch in the Charizard. Hmm, that's a shame. I was kind of hoping they wouldn't take out this fortress. So my original plan was that we were going to get another Beedrill, explode Fortress, and power these both up and take out the Charizard. Unfortunately, they have a way to get that Charizard off the bench, which they just used, and it gets our Fortress in death range. Now, I'm actually kind of glad they're going after the Fortress here and not the Beedrill. Um, we are still very behind on energy, but they can't use that attack next turn without switching twice. So, could be worse. I get Celebrations packs, Rookie, because there's fewer cards in each pack, but uh, they're all rares. So once you have four ofs, you start getting a lot of credits really fast. That is a sign. It's a sign that you should play Chang Pao. But, you know, maybe not. I don't know. Some of them are, yeah. Uh, you can sometimes find them cheaper than that. I found some that were like 30 cents for a pack. It, I mean, again, it adds up, but that is, if you don't have one that you've already opened a lot of packs of, that's the best way to quickly get credits. Um, best is not good, necessarily, but it is the best. Okay, so they didn't do, they didn't actually have the energy, so this is fine for us. So we're going to get to do this, okay. And let's go ahead and explode this. Okay, yeah, Pokemon Go is a good one too then. Okay, so we're going to put two here. Three here. I was really lucky they didn't have that one energy. Really, really lucky. And they get two prize cards, and that is annoying, but we get to take out their Charizard. This deck not playing Iono is starting to feel bad, though. I'm, I'm realizing that more and more. We should be playing with Ionos, because playing with Iono means that you can do that and then give them less cards than they had before. Goodbye. Not the best, but not the worst. Yeah, I've spent way too much money on pack codes, by the way. <laughs> that was pretty, pretty, pretty impressive. Pretty cool. Okay. Okay, they need Pokemon. That's why they're doing this. Okay, here's the Growlithe. Now, if they also have... If they have Magma Basin... We have beach court now we are actually not bad here because this beedrill can do a hundred damage to anything we want we're, we're going to take out the growlith here charizard evolves it's whatever growlith evolves we are in trouble it is the same guy this person that i'm playing right now wild okay so they're powering up the heat more hmm Nice, nice. Okay, it's not ideal, but it's not the end of the world. No Growlithe for you. Now, if they go Charizard, we're sad. But I'd rather have the Charizard than the Heatmore, because this, especially with the Pokegear draw, we have a, a good chance of getting some way to get Charmeleon's perfect, actually, because we can still kill that. We have some way to get other Beedrills and get up to 150 damage. Okay. Is this for retreating purposes? It's gotta be for retreating purposes, right? Right? Yeah, okay. I, was like, I feel like I'm taking crazy pills here. And they pull out the Charmeleon. Well, that's fine for us. If they had pulled out this, we were gonna have to make a tough decision, but now we don't. Yay! Okay, Ultra Ball, go ahead and use that for me so I can see what you're after. I'm assuming it's a Charizard of some some sort. Perfect. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate ya. Oh, please be the big scary Charizard, too, so we can just deny that. They ditched the rare candy. Now a Charmander's not an out for them anymore. Okay. Okay. 
Oh, hmm. Rip. Let's do this first to see what we get. Uh, Professor's Reason, we'll grab that, but we're going to use the Gardenia this turn. Well, that was bad and worthless. Cool. Um, Alright, let's take out the Char... Million. Odds that they have a Charizard in hand. It's worth it, like, I'm, I'm tempted to go after the Bibarel here, but it's worth it to just deny this. Because that's scarier than most things. And the Charizard would power up a heat more. You know what I mean? That would be extra scary. This does give them more chances to draw cards, but that's proving less and less valuable. And this, we don't care about this. This doesn't affect, uh, like, weakness doesn't matter. So this is only going to do 20 damage. And we have the ability to not hit this. We can hit everything else we want to hit. So it's even better. They had another Charizard. Woo, I'm glad we picked what we picked, y'all. We don't care about the Vibrel at this point. They're so through they're through so much of their deck that it doesn't really matter if they draw cards. Uh, we just kind of need to keep them off of their threats here, which is Charmander. We're gonna hit that Charmander. How many? Well, they're only through one rare candy, so we need to hit it now. Okay. Let's just Professor's Research here. Let's get some new cards. Okay, those were not very good, but all right, here we are. <laughs> okay, so we can still only do 100 damage, so we're going to take out the Charmander. Deny them they're in. Now, we only have one prize card left, and this Bibarel's less than 100 HP. The Moltres can't possibly do enough damage. Hey, there you are, buddy. Um, so we should be fine. I think we win. Yay! A million dollars. We should watch that movie. We'll watch one of those movies this weekend. It's been a while since I'd seen an Austin Powers movie. Not all the jokes aged appropriately, but um, Mike Myers is just so happy when he does that. You can tell he's just having a blast up there doing those roles. This person eating their phone computer. <laughs> You're not wrong. You're not wrong. So, one of the reasons that we play with our... I'm going to rephrase that, hang on. One of the reasons that we practice with these decks is because we kind of want to see how it feels. See what feels good, what feels bad. When we have enough disruption and they're not playing Egyptian God cards that, that we can actually, you know, like, t make, t knock these things out. Why would you put another one on there? Anyways. Um... When we actually get to disrupt them, Beedrill feels pretty good. When they have big, beefy stuff that we can't take out, Beedrill feels pretty bad. I wanted one more opponent. I want one more Beedrill. And now we get to take out the Moltres. Blurp. Yay! <laughs> I mean, that's the thing, right? Like, even watching it, there were some, some crass comments in the movies, but there wasn't anything that I would feel like, wow, that was really, like, in poor taste. I mean, we watched the second one, so I can't, I can't attest to the first one and the third one, but, you know, most of it seemed to age pretty well. Insult immediately. Yeah, if possibly. All right, I see. You picked a uh, sleeve, right? Yeah, what's, what sleeves you want, buddy? I will scroll slowly. I hope you're still here. Ooh, a phantom. I want a phantom. Grass ghost. That's fun. I'm going to scroll, I see. You let me know if you see anything you like. You are here. Excellent. Oh, and we go back up.
Growlithe, huh? We can do Growlithe. If I can find it. Oh, there it is. It's so cute. All right, Growlithe sleeves it is. <laughs> the ugly sweater one does look really good. The Stantler one, yeah. Okay, grass deck versus grass deck. Now, maybe. If they're playing the grass deck that comes with this coin sleeve and box, we're probably going to be fine because that deck is bad. No, we might be in for some, some fun shenanigans. Maybe a brew from the opponent. Mm, it could be anything. After you, opponent. That's what you get for choosing tails. Okay. This isn't the worst starting hand we've had. Because Luminion is an Arvin, which is a VIP pass. The Heavy Ball is going to help us if there's a Beedrill in there, and we have a Blunder Policy too. I do have a dog. Uh, we've got one dog. We're looking to get a second puppy, but we have had some issues finding one that we like. Um, so that one is on the back burner for now. Probably early next year sometime. Um, but yeah, I've got a Cardigan Welsh Corgi. His name is Barka, and he's adorable, but he's a butthole. The Foratress, too, is a good rip. Okay. So let's play this out here so they can't mess with us. And it looks like they are playing the stock one. And there's a Beedrill in there. It's my birthday. Okay. So we put this there. Give this one a Blunder Policy. Let's use Luminion. Grab two more Beedrills. Arvin for VIP pass and an EXP share. Actually, hmm. Yeah. It, hmm. That's tough. Let's grab the choice belt, actually, because we have a fortress, so we're, we're going to be able to uh, evolve one of these next turn. And the only way that we, that we regret this is if they put a double colorless and knock out what we've got up front here. That's the only way we regret not getting the um, EXP share. So hopefully that doesn't happen. Hopefully. We just get to play on a lot. Charles Shaughnessy. I also don't know. What's up, Dark Savage? I also don't know who that is. Is he like... I haven't seen the nanny show in forever since I was a kid and, you know, you stay home sick some days. It's like, well, I guess we get to watch this on TV. Yay. Now, Fran was a gem. And I still remember that intro, too, actually. Hmm. Like, ever just have something just unlock some nostalgia for you? A door opens, you're like, oh, wow, I remember. I remember. So us not letting them play a supporter card because they went first, which turns out that was probably pretty brutal for them. I bet they have a couple supporters in their hands, and that's why they didn't play anything. And we get to, if they don't mess with this, we get to evolve this Professor's Research, probably get another energy, and go to town. Big ol' if, though. Big ol' if. I would like to use my Arvin. Do a coin flip. It's not a coin flip, technically, but it kind of feels like it. Great ball. Terrible, but great. All right. Did we lose so much it put us in the MMR bracket with the people playing new decks? It feels like that's what happened. Hmm. We're just going to throw bees at new people. Oh, I see. Iona would be brutal. Yeah, don't do that to me. Don't do that to me, rookie. Don't put that evil on me. I would like to draw seven cards. Hey, look. Okay, so this has actually worked out really well. We've got a beedrill with each tool on it. Yay! All right. Um, hmm. Guard press. Your childhood show was married with children. I actually never saw that show. Just as a kid. Nice! Enjoy getting your potatoes. I see, I'm assuming you mean you're going to go dig them up from outside and have fresh, fresh potatoes. 
Or if you're going to go buy them, that's fine too. If you don't have a potato farm at home, store-bought's fine. Thanks for being here, buddy. Enjoy your lurk. Sorry you have to go on a trip. <laughs> that is pretty good. That's pretty good. Ah, uh, the grocery store it is. That's fair. That's fair. Okay, opponent's shocking it. Now, this is probably just going to be a superior V-Star. Again, they are playing with the stock grass superior deck that the game gives you, and it's not very good, at least in my opinion. There's ways to make superior decent, but, uh, never mind, I take it all back. They're playing Toad Scroll. Wiggles, you should shut up sometimes. Right you are, Wiggles. Right you are. Okay, but Jacques does not get them a basic Pokemon, and if they don't have a way to evolve this or put another basic down, they just lose. So... Cool. They just lose. Man, going first really messed them up, I think. You don't want everything to be on VIP passes, y'all. It's, it's good to, to have some of those in your deck, and having Arvin lets you play with less than four. But if that's your only way to grab basic Pokemon, you're going to have a bad time. You know, <laughs> fair point, Rookie. They wouldn't have lost. Yep. Need to call your shots. You think people who give people shots, like in their arms, call those shots? That's a pun I want to make next time I go to the doctor. I think about how to make that one funny. If y'all want a trick to being funny, and I don't, I'm not just talking out of my butt here. I like to think I'm rather entertaining. Uh, practice your jokes ahead of time, and then wait for the right moment to use it. And then it'll be like, wow, how'd you come up with that? It's like, I guess I'm just sad and lonely who makes these jokes alone. Or something. Probably don't say that. Okay, so Lost Zone deck. Okay. Probably Lost Box, I would assume. What's up? I'm going to read your name. Site Casas Telemacastle? It's like some Spanish in there and some not Spanish. Telemacastle. Hmm. How would you like to pronounce your name? But how's it going? <laughs> like when you're talking up his butt. That's fair, and that's fair too, Dark Savage. And if you could do it really well, you could do both. Like, I've got a couple jokes that we've just been kind of marinating on for a while. They're not for stream, don't you worry. They're just my jokes. Now, humor is one of my favorite things in life. You know, it's... Funny is so awesome, because no one you... Like, okay, no one and can't... N nobody, nobody and can't are dangerous words to use because there's always an exception, right? But for the most part... You can't be sad while you're laughing. Or at least you're not as sad because you are laughing. <laughs> you and your Watchmen references thrown off. Good joke. See, no, Rookie. Rookie, that's, that's the trick. You have to be ready for what happens if a joke flops. And you want to know the trick to what to do if a joke flops? Y'all, we are actually going to have to... Professor's research a full hand. That is brutal. Um, but we did get a VIP pass out of it, so it could be worse. Uh, okay, let's do that. We do have all four of our B drills in the deck. That's lovely. Means we can go ahead and use this because it's probably not going to hit anything. Uh, no, okay, there's two other VIP passes there. Noted. Um, now, maybe we get two heads and we kill the Comfy. Maybe. Close. Close. That's all right. Um, but anyway, so my, my life advice. If your joke flops, you need to take the awkwardness and just, like, give it to everybody else. By saying something like, like, look where I go. Well, this is awkward. Because it's not until somebody says it, but when you say it, that it is awkward, which is funny. Like, you, if you can roll with it. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And that's the other trick, is if you laugh at your joke, 
then who cares what everybody else thinks? You're having fun. And I've said that to people too. It's like, like, wow, did you really just laugh at your own joke? Asterisk, not Wiggles, my real name. And it's like, yeah, I'm laughing and you're not. Who's having more fun? Ha! 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 Okay. Opponent's getting switchy with it. Now, asterisk, big asterisk here. I need just like a sign. I need a penguin holding an asterisk up. It's like, asterisk, because that would be a great emote. Um... Asterisk, don't take life advice from me. <laughs> Car Carloic. Car Car Carolek? Thank you for the follow, my friend. Welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> classic, classic rookie. Okay. Do they have seven? No, I need to be able to see how many they have in the... Uh, I hate this. We can't risk a pine, our pine co here. I'm really glad we didn't risk the pine co, because, yeah, they definitely have six. Whew. Okay. Ow, my bee drill. Okay, well, that's bad now. Um, hmm. Let's see here. Let's see what we can get. Arvin. Suppose for later. Okay. So let's do... I think we just go ahead and push him back here a little bit. So we're going to get an Ultra Ball. And we're going to get a Choice Belt. Uh, Do we get a Choice Belt or do we get an XP share? Get the XP share. Um, okay, so the Ultra Ball's for a Fortress here. We're gonna ditch that, and we're going to ditch... I guess we could ditch this other energy, right? We don't need that, since we're about to do a Fortress thing. Okay. That. We're gonna put this EXP share on this Beedrill. I guess it doesn't matter, because we're gonna get five, which is all we need, but whatever. We are going to get all five, though, so we can thin our deck out appropriately. Now, if this one dies and the one EXP, or the one energy goes down here, suddenly we do have an easier retreat, which is notable. That is not nothing. Man, if these professors' researches were Iona's, though, this would be such a better situation. I mean, we couldn't use it this turn because we already played Arvin, but it would be a better situation. Okay, so we need to take out this Kramer in. And we actually can't because we can only do 100 damage. So, huh. I have made a mistake. Death to the comfies. That was another one I never watched. Drone off. I didn't watch How I Met Your Mother. I didn't watch a lot of uh, sitcoms. I have trouble with TV. <laughs> a little late for that. Um, I struggle with television. I get bored. I actually watch Twitch way more than I watch TV because if the streamer doesn't know what's about to happen, there ain't no way I know what's about to happen. But TV, I find pretty predictable. Except for anime. Where are my weebs at? I, I am I am a proud weeb. Proud weeb trash. Aggressive and unnecessary. We're going to put that right there. Okay, so... We need to get super duper lucky here. We know none of these are right. We used that Hisui and Heavy Ball this game, right? That was the thing we did. It is. Okay, so we know the Beedrills are in the deck. So we just need to draw them. We need two. We got one. We got two. Okay, sweet. We got two because of this Ultra Ball here. Uh, because of this Nest Ball here, it's even better. Beedrill. All right. So we get to take out the Cramorant, which is nice. Really wish the CXP share was down here right now, but what can you do? Yeah. Okay. Ooh. This one. Gotta catch up on chat here. 
Some do have, that's fair. I, don't get me wrong, I, there are definitely TV shows I've enjoyed. But yeah. For the most part, I, I, I can't really sit down and watch TV. I don't know. Okay, so there's the Dragonite. Now this Manaphy is gonna bite the boss's orders here. Okay, so they're up to seven. Can't do that quickly. They only need to knock out one more thing, too, because we had to hemorrhage some cards here. That is another really down big downside of Fortress. God, what's my Pokemon cards? <laughs> okay, so they recycled the stuff after they did the... Oh, never mind. Before the second Mirage Gate. Never mind. I never watched Bakugan. I watched Yu-Gi-Oh! a lot as a kid. Yu-Gi-Oh!, Shaolin Showdown, Jackie Chan Adventures... Pokemon... Saturday morning cartoons used to be lit. Okay. Well... We have been slain. Well played, opponent. Well played. That is one of the best decks in the format right now, so don't feel bad about losing to the Lost Box. It's like you had a Victini on your side. That's true. That's true. Something like that. Hmm. Alright, let's do the giveaway for this, uh, the end of this deck. Wrap this one up, because we are going to move on after one more game here. Woo! Y'all, the next deck's going to be fun. I'm excited. We can make it work. <laughs> Big ol' asterisk there. Red X Dragon. It's a solid name. Solid name. Too many tickets, Dark Savage. Just too many tickets. Okay. Uh -oh. <laughs> okay. Now, the question we need to ask ourselves here is, do we Professor's Research or do we Gardenia's Vigor? Because it's first turn... Okay, so this is the Toad Scroll deck. Um, this is the... This is the stock one that they give you, I think. Because the other one, the one that people play with that wasn't given is the one with... Sherem, I think. Favorite anime? Food Wars. That there. Um, because this has 80 HP, uh, we have a chance to knock it out. We're going to be doing this uh, professor's research anyways. We might as well use the switch. Okay. Okay. Put that there. See if there's any beedrills in our prize cards. There are not. We are going to take this Pineco because we're going to ditch it to this Ultra Ball. We didn't get any VIP passes. It's pretty, pretty unfortunate. Hmm. Let's wait on that because if they knock this out somehow, we want to grab a fortress. Okay, so let's play another Pineco out just in case, and hopefully we hit two heads here because we don't have a blunder policy on this one. So heads, heads, darn it, that's okay. It's not lucky, Luke. Raised by Wolves. I haven't seen that one. Full Metal Alchemist. Solid one, Tatas. Very solid. I didn't like Full Metal Alchemist. Like, I, I liked it, but I wouldn't say I enjoyed it. It was very, very heavy. Haha, <laughs> Full Metal. But yeah, I don't know. I, I, I also enjoy shows more where I can have fun. Like, don't get me wrong. I like my feelings. I like feeling things. But yeah. And also, I don't necessarily recommend everybody watch Food Wars because it has a gimmick and you have to be okay with that gimmick in order to enjoy the show. And that, mm -mm. if you're not, you're going to be like, wow, are you sure this is anime or is it that other thing? It's not. It's anime. It's really good. Just stop before you get to the last season. Last season is trash. Okay, so this is a brew because they added, they have both Gossifleur and Cherim in here, or Cheruby in here.
Now, if we can get started here, if we can do our thing, which it's going to be tough because we don't have the Beedrills or the Fortress right now. It's artful, exactly. So, Sil, thank you for the resub. Thank you for being here, Fred. I really appreciate you. Almost legal. Almost legal. You know, 17's legal in Texas. Don't ask me how I know that one. Lewis Smith, thank you for the follow, my friend. Welcome, welcome. And still, thank you again for that resub. I really appreciate it. Wouldn't be here without your support. Okay, so there's the Eldegoss. It's going to get them the energy, but they don't have the Cherim out yet. If we get... We can take care of that Cheriby. Because this says prevent effects of attacks. This just does damage. This isn't an effect. <laughs> How you doing? Okay. Alright, so we need to ditch an energy and a switch at this point because we're not going to use that. Let's grab the Fortress. Now we can do 50 damage because we have one Beedrill V. So we're going to put this here. Okay, we're going to use this. I guess we will grab a Professor's Research because we can do that. We haven't played a supporter yet. Okay. Get some card draw going here. Now, again, an Iota would also be pretty awesome right there, but we don't have any of those. So we're going to wait to blow up the Fortress until we have a chance to draw some more Beedrills here. Perfect. I am glad we waited. We also get to power up another those. Let's get that there. Okay, so we're going to destroy it. Cast it into the fire. Okay, so let's put one there. Let's put two here because they're pretty squishy. And we'll put three or two here. So this is ready to go next turn. Okay. Dude, nice. Chibs gets mad at me when I call those Pocky Sticks. Like, Hockey Sticks, she says they're Pokey. Like, no, they're Pocky Sticks. Just line up and eat a Pocky Stick. Alright. So... Because we got another Beedrill, what we're actually going to do is we're going to take them off of their Toad's... Their Tentus... Or Toad Scroll. If you can keep them off of Toad Scroll, their deck is bad. We ran into that when we were playing that deck, and we are actually set up pretty well to keep them off of that, because we get to just slam into their bench over and over and over and over and over. We don't really care about this Turtwig. At all. Pocky. Yeah, I know, apparently it's Pokey. Pokey. Like Pokemon, but Pokey stick. Pocky. Just give it, give it a little, rub a little, a little Texan on that, you know what I mean? Get some Pocky sticks. Turtle can hit hard too, but Turtle's not going to win them the game. Uh, not while we've got Fortress and other Beedrills. Like that, we're going to have a chance to, to get ready here. Okay, so this is going to be a Grottle and an... Uh, they went for the other Eldegoss, which is interesting. I would have gone for the Cherim. But also, we can knock out this Grottle too. If they don't play a Toad Scroll, which they probably will, because I'm assuming they're going to use Sundrenched Shell to get it. I'm assuming. Oh, okay, cool. Well, thanks, Abonnet. We will just take out the Grottle then. Okay. Sold. Dude, they might already just have another uh, Toad School in hand. They're thinning their deck out on a, like a lot. We're through, still through more of our deck than they are, though. So, ha. And more importantly, our Pokemon have energy on them, and theirs don't. Now, they could, if they had this evolved into Cherim, they could have energy, but not really enough to do anything. So, it's whatever. Hey, look, a Cherim. Hey, look, a Toad School. Okay, we still need to keep these keep this going. They're way more likely to have a Toad Scroll than they are to need like to need the Grottle to get one. Just spread the love around, opponent. Everybody gets an energy. And even if they try to boss his orders or, or escape rope or something, we can just use another Beedrill. <laughs> 
Well, you're not wrong. Okay. So now they're going to be doing 30 damage a turn. And we're just going to keep destroying. Ooh, that's a good draw. Let's see what we can get here. Nothing! All right, just check in. In that case, we'll do this, because we don't need to boss's orders at this point. You're not going to be allowed to to uh, toad scroll, my friend. I, I apologize for this, but we're not going to let that happen. Got any more toad schools in that deck? We'll take them all. Until they uh, are out of those, yeah. So, maybe one's in their prize cards. Mm, now they're not playing one at all. Manaphy's annoying, but like we're fine with this, because we're just going to take out whatever's on front. And we could just pull that mana feed to the front. That's probably what we're going to do. Um, odds of them playing more than one mana feed are low. And they can't use Grottle to get a mana feed because a mana feed is not a grass type. Grottle's very specific on that one. And if we knock out the Eldegoss like they want us to, then that just gives them a chance to uh, next turn do it. Mm, I guess we should probably save our boss's orders then. No, because if we do that, then we couldn't hit the Toad Scroll next time. So, yeah, we're going to do this. Come here, you. Bees! Bees! I see. How many potatoes did you buy? I'm curious. That like, I guess you technically potatoes are sold by the pound, not by the tater. But it's a bee drill, Dark Savage. It's a bee with drills on its hand. What do you mean it's a wasp? Bag of home fries? <laughs> yeah, that's fair. That's fair, I see. Oh, hey, look! Target acquired. Uh, what's this do? Just 50 damage. So, this might hurt. A lot. Ow. Oh, yeah, this Beedrill's dead. Brutal. Um, we still need to take out the Toad School. Yep. It's it's there's not an option to not anymore. We are pot committed. Now we still can take it out pretty easily, but we have to. Okay, we can start getting this one ready to go. That's nice. Um hmm. Actually I don't know if we can afford to do that. Can we afford to do that? Because if they knock out this... Well, they can't knock this one out. Okay. So we have to hope that they can't knock this out. Uh, basically, we have to hope they can't evolve their other Turtwig. That's what this is going to boil down to. Because we have... We have the... Uh, Fortress. Being worth two prize cards is, is hurting here. Giving up two prize cards just to a uh, Turtle is not a problem. Okay, all right, Dark Savage. I see you. Hey, we lose. They got us. Well played, opponent. Well played. Yeah, 250 damage. Okay. I was kind of... I underestimated how good Torterra is. I think the opponent should probably go down on something here because they've got just too much. But they're obviously not just relying on Toad Scroll. Well played, opponent. Well played. Turtle is, in fact, a problem. You're not wrong. You're not wrong, y'all. Wiggles was wrong. Everybody else was gross. wrong. That, that happens sometimes. Just sometimes. All right, let's do that last giveaway. Or let's do the wrap-up, then the giveaway, and all that stuff. So, final thoughts on this deck. I, it was fine. It did what it was supposed to do, and what it was supposed to do wasn't very impressive. I feel like when this game, when this deck works, it's going to work great. And most of the time, it's not. It's just kind of, like, decent, right? There's better things to be doing. We got beaten by two grass decks. We got to beat up one or two decks. So, you know, if you like Beedrill, if you have a lot of these cards, try it. Maybe y'all can make it better than I could. But, yeah.